Yo, what's going on today's video? I got the how to make a Titan shifter. Um, well, more like just to how to make it like you know, you shift into the Titan and stuff. I didn't do movement, I just want to clarify that I didn't do movement or anything because I feel like that's going to take a little minute to kind of figure out whatnot. But I, I mean, I think I have it figured out and stuff. But I was like, let me see if that another video in case this video does well. This is my first attack on Titan video, but yeah, so it's just a basic transformation. You transform, you know, you do the bite, you play the bite animation. Um, you know, you got the little sound, the little lightning sound effect with the lightning effects, and then boom, you transform into a Titan. So let's get straight into it. It's very simple, honestly. So of course we're gonna need a transformation sound and stuff. So boom, just go to um, go to the toolbox, go to audio, and just type Attack on Titan, type Attack on Titan or Titan transformation. I I would recommend Attack on Titan, and then you you should be able to find the transformation sound, right? So then I'm going to provide you guys with everything you need model wise, I should say, right? So the way it is, is like this, right? Of course, before we even get into any scripting, we need a Titan model. So look in the description. You guys are going to see the link for the female Titan, or if you have your own Titan model, then use that. But yeah, so I'm going to be using the female Titan, right? This is a model I got from the toolbox, right? So I have my Titan model here, right? So I'm going to place my model inside of server storage but there are some things that i need to i do need to add to it so for you to make sure your model is ready to go in terms of like a player can properly transform into it this does not ensure that a player can move with it this just ensures that a player can like transform into it it needs to have a humanoid right now i'm not sure if it needs to have the animate script because for this model the parts are anchored and stuff so I don't think that really matters. So I don't I don't think I need that. But you may need to get the the uh the animate script where you know if you press play, let me just show you guys how to get it real quick. If you press play, you go to the workspace, you find your you find your character, you'll see the animate script control C, copy it, and then you would just paste it into your uh Titan model. And then of course you could update that IDs as needed. Boom, right? So I'm going to leave the Titan model inside of server storage. I'm going to insert a remote event into replicated storage. Once again, the link for the Titan model should be found, can be found in the description. So we're going to call this Titan event, right? And then we're going to need our effects. Here's where these effects come. Once again, this will be found in the description, right? So here's what you're going to do. You see, it says Titan transformation. Not really sure what they had going on there. But anyway, you're going to insert a folder into um, server storage. You're going to name this titan effects and then you're simply just going to take all the particle emitters inside of the um transformation part and you're going to throw them inside of the folder boom you can delete the part we no longer need it and just like that we have all our assets we have our titan model our transformation and our sound effect reminder that you can find the titan model as well as the effects model in the description now we can get into the actual scripting okay so um Open up starter player, insert a local script. I'm going to delete print hello world. I'm going to set, create a variable for the user input service. I'm going to say local UIS equal to game, get service, user input service. Then let me create a, let me just double check. Okay, I'm good. Let me create a variable for the Titan event. So I'm going to say local Titan event is equal to game that replicated, don't know how to spell. Okay. Game that replicated storage, wait for child, Titan event. And then let me go ahead and set up the function. I'm going to say UIS, the input began, connect function in parentheses, put input, comma, process, then enter, right? You're going to say if input dot user input type is equal to enum dot user input type dot keyboard and not process, which pretty much means the player is not typing in chat. Enter, you're then going to say if input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code with that, uh, whatever key bind you want. I'm going to go with the E key bind. Enter, you're going to say Titan event fire server and quotation marks. You're going to put Titan transform. If you want to be specific, say if you're making an attack on Titan game, which I mean, I'm pretty sure that's why you'd be watching this video, unless you're just generally interested to know how to do this. Um, you probably want to be more specific, like you want to put female Titan transformation or transform and stuff. If you want to be uh, specific, so you can go ahead and rename the script to Titan script in parentheses, put local boom. Then we can insert a server script into server script service, right? So I have the byte animation. I will also leave a link to uh, this in the description and stuff. Um, I think I got it from 
like did I get it from there or yeah it must have been from yeah it would have to be from here so yeah so to get the animation right to get the animation what you have to do is you have to click avatar animation editor click it it's going to ask you if you want to migrate and stuff so just migrate everything over to server storage just like the new way the uh story animations right and then you're going to want to load the byte animation right so boom this works for r15 by the way and then you're going to want to publish it to roblox you're going to uh you know name it public and then once you click submit it's going to give you an id you want to copy that id right you want to copy that id and then you want to insert an animation into the script right you want to rename it the animation to byte animation and then throw your animation id right here you can't use my animation id it has to like sorry okay i didn't make this animation i got it from the toolbox you can't use my animation id you have to use your own but you can use the opposite of the animation and stuff so i provided it to you guys in the link in the description so yeah so we can go ahead and rename this script remember put it inside of put the animation inside of the uh script by the way it's going to create a whole bunch of animation saves so you could just delete that instead of server storage but anyway we're going to rename the script to titan script in parentheses put server boom we're going to open up the server script let me open it up back up anyway i'm going to delete print of a world um so i'm going to need to get the sound service right so first things first let's say local ss is equal to game get service sound service for the last variable i'm going to uh just copy and paste the titan event variable so control c control v then i'm going to say titan event at on server events connect function in parentheses you can put plr show for player then comma event type this is very similar to the gear 5 video if you watched i did that a while back around like early december so let's create a variable for our player's character we're going to say local character is equal to player dot character then i'm going to set up an if statement i'm going to say if event type is equal to in quotation marks Titan transform enter right then i'm going to set up the animation track i'm going to say local at is equal to character to humanoid load animation parentheses regular brackets quotation marks or sorry script regular bracket quotation marks by animation then on the next line you're going to say at play boom and then you're going to wait one second and stuff just depends how long your animation is if you're using mine then yeah just do everything just like how i'm doing it then i'm going to play the transformation sound you can also have a bite sound if you want like if you, if you had a bite sound you'd play it right here and then you would have your transformation sound here i didn't include it i just didn't feel like it then i'm going to um I'm going to move, I'm going to clone over all the effects and put them onto the player's human root part. So I'm going to say for IV impairs game dot server storage dot effects, Titan effects, right? And then I'm going to say get children, enter. You're going to say local effect clone is equal to V clone. Then you're going to say effect clone dot parent is equal to character dot humanoid root part, right? And then you're going to say SS dot transformation dot um is it is it oh ended yeah the next function so when the sound effect is done playing then enter right you're going to clone over the titan model so you're going to say local titan model is equal to game dot server storage dot female titan clone right then i'm going to say titan model dot name is equal to player dot name right and then i'm going to say player dot character is equal to titan model sorry is e is equal to titan model all right let me scroll down a little bit and then i'm going to create a variable for the root part i'm going to say local root part is equal to titan model on first child in quotation marks i'm going to put human and root part and then i'm going to create um another variable so this is the player root part so local player root part which is equal to player dot character find first child in quotation marks same thing humanoid root part right then I'm gonna say if root part and player root part enter then you're gonna say root part uh sorry not dot parent c frame is equal to player root part dot c frame right c frame and then we are good on the if statement let me just get yeah, there we go then you're going to go after the if statement and then you're going to say titan model dot parent you're going to parent it to the workspace right then you're going to set up a for i loop to destroy all the effects so for i v impairs you're going to say um you're going to say character dot hue wait yeah the humanoid root part get children right parentheses enter and then you're going to say if v is what is a in quotation marks you're going to put a particle emitter right or sorry that's actually one word particle emitter right 
and enter and simply you're just gonna say v destroy let's go ahead and test to make sure this works as always if you guys want access to any one of my scripts or models you guys can come either a channel member or a discord subscriber link to either one of those options can be found in the description let's go ahead and test to make sure this works so if i press e boom then you guys see the sound effects and i see the visual effects and boom i have transformed into the titan model and stuff this also serves as a video for a rig changer but i already made a video on that but you know same thing and stuff like i said i didn't cover movement if this video gets enough you know likes views support and stuff and if you guys want to see you know generally me make titan movement like you know we can actually move the character or the titan move your character while you transform into the titan model if you want to see me do that let me know in the comments and i got y'all thank you for watching if you enjoyed leave like subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video appreciate y'all for watching